John Napier He was the inventor of logarithms He was born in Merchiston Tower, Edinburgh, Scotland on 1550 His father's name was Sir Archibald Napier and mother's name was Janet Bothwell As was customary for young boys of his social stature he received his early education at home from private tutors. He was sent to St. Salvator's College, St. Andrews, for his formal education when he was 13. He developed an interest in theology while at the college, and the love for the religion dominated his life till the very end. But he did not study at the college for long and appears to have left before earning his degree. It is believed that young John traveled to mainland Europe for his further education at the advice of his maternal uncle. It is likely that he studied at the University of Paris and it is also probable that he spent some time in Italy and the Netherlands. After completing his studies he returned to Scotland in 1571 at the age of 21. Now that he was a young man, most of the estates of the Napier family were transferred to him in 1572. John Napier's first marriage was in 1572 to Elizabeth. The couple had two children. He also bought a castle in Gartness in 1574. He soon engaged himself in managing the estates. Elizabeth died in 1579. He then married Agnes Chisholm, with whom he had ten more children. In addition to managing his estates, he became involved in mathematical research during his leisure time. He was also an ardent Protestant and was actively involved in the religious controversies of the time, which sometimes hindered his scientific pursuits. In 1594, he published Plain Discovery of the Whole Revelation of St. John, a religious work written with the intent of influencing contemporary political events. The text holds a prominent place in Scottish ecclesiastical history. His father died in 1608 and John Napier moved to Murchiston Castle in Edinburgh with his family and resided there for the remainder of his life. In 1614, he discussed logarithms in the text Mirifici Logarithmarum Canonis Descriptio, which was first published in Latin. Two years later, an English translation of the work was published, translated by Edward Wright. The book had 57 pages of explanatory matter and 90 pages of tables of numbers related to natural logarithms. He also discussed theorems in spherical trigonometry, which later became known as Napier's Rules of Circular Parts. He gained much acclaim for his invention of logarithms. The prominent English mathematician Henry Briggs visited Napier in 1615, and the two men worked together and developed the manually operated calculating device, which came to be known as Napier's Bones. The device could be used for calculation of products and quotients of numbers. This way, logarithms found application in several fields including astronomy, dynamics, and other areas of physics. In 1617, he published Rabdologiad, su numerationis perverculis libri duo. John Napier is regarded as the founder of what is now known as Napierian logarithm or Napierian logarithm. His invention of logarithms paved the way for much further advancement in not just mathematics, but also in astronomy, dynamics, and other areas of physics. He died on 4 April, 1617, in Edinburgh, Scotland. At the age of 66. If language was given to men to conceal their thoughts, then gesture's purpose was to disclose them said John Napier.